So, I got back from my uh, hike there and I kind of just sat and rested for a while here. I was roasting. Looks like, according to my weather station, we peaked out at 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> Way too hot for April. But, cooling down a bit now. Don't mind that chatter in the background. That's one of my uh, ham radio things, if you're hearing that in the background there. But, uh, I just kind of rested, uh, grabbed myself a, uh... <laughs> A can of uh, grape soda and I needed something cold to drink. Uh, still working on some of my warm water. I don't have any cold water unfortunately, just warm water. But, uh, oh, it's been brutal. So I kind of just sat and lounged in the chair for about an hour. <laughs> Maybe watched a little YouTube, did a little stuff on Facebook, that was about it. I just, I, I was just too hot. It's too much. Too much too soon. This is not what I was expecting. I've never found myself wishing I had a, a shower at the campground as much as I am today. A cool shower would feel good about now, but they don't have that here at this campground. <sighs> anyway, we're going to start knocking down some of the site. Uh, I'm not going to be cooking anything else here, so I'm going to knock the stove down, and I'm going to knock the grill down, get that stuff put away. Got to keep the table up because I need the sink, but... A lot of the site's going to get knocked down now, and we're going to start uh, getting ready because we're taking off tomorrow morning. So we're probably going to make a fairly early start at it when we do. So I want a lot of the stuff packed up today. We're going to leave the canopy up for a while, though, because it's my shade. Once it's no longer providing shade, that'll come down, too. Not much left in there. Kind of nice putting the grill down above the up the grill the stove down here on the end of the table here because usually when I have it the other way there it takes up all the entire table space so yeah I have to walk around to get at the stove but it opens up a lot of space. Bring the grill over here. Oh, it's dripping. Ugh. Yuck. <laughs> Apparently the uh, sun has uh, loosened up the grease inside, but I'm bringing it over here and I let it cool down because it's been sitting in the sun and it's rather hot and greasy. So I gotta clean it up some, I guess. Okay, so for tonight for dinner, we're gonna make a no-cook dinner. <laughs> now, it's just too stinking hot. It's still uh, like 86 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So we're gonna make this dinner up so I don't have to cook anything. I mean, I did already cook part of it yesterday when I made that barbecue chicken, so I did cook up some chicken pits. So, we'll get to that shortly. But what we're making is a chicken salad. So a chicken salad with a little bit of everything on it. So I've done this sort of dinner one time before, and that was when I was doing some parking lot camping. Yeah, so this is really good for that sort of stuff. That guy won't stand up. <laughs> uh, really good for that sort of thing because uh, there's no cooking involved or anything. I need a better sharper pair of scissors. Either that or I need something to sharpen these scissors with anyway. I wish they made smaller amounts of these this stuff here because all they need is a single serving. I had to buy a whole bag of it to get just the single serving. Now this has uh, iceberg lettuce, carrots as you can see on my finger, <laughs> and red cabbage. I'm going to start off with the uh, lettuce. And yes, I'm by myself. If I, was, if I had other people with me, I'd use something to scoop the salad out with, but I'm here by myself. I can use my fingers. Nobody's going to care. I washed my hands before making food. <laughs> so, we start off with a good bed of lettuce, and then we got all this lettuce left over, and I don't know what to do with it. we got a pepper here. The nice thing about peppers and other fresh produce is they're pretty cheap still, despite all the rising prices. But... This is again another situation here where I'm not going to get to use the whole pepper before it goes bad. But I don't need that much for this uh, dinner. Just need a little bit. In fact, this piece is probably all I'm going to need for the salad. So, I'm open for suggestions if anybody has any ways to 
preserve the uh, produce for, for my next trip because each trip is usually about a couple weeks apart right now. So, luckily, it does sit in a fridge. I was buying a package that came like a pre diced one that Stop and Shop sold, but it was like five bucks for that. You can buy a whole pepper for less than a buck. Slice it myself. That's why even when I don't use all of it, it's still a better buy than most things. Okay, yeah, that's enough pepper. Salad. Okay, I'll get the, the chicken here. I would have preferred to have cut these up into smaller pieces before I grilled it, but they would have fallen through the grates if I did that, so I'm going to cut them up now. We also have ham, and cubed ham that I bought pre-cubed. I bought a bag of it in that market basket, a whole package of it, one pound of cubed ham, and broke it down into four Ziploc bags like this. We also have uh, bacon bits. Put that on there. You can pretty much add anything you want to this. I don't like onions, so you know, find those in my salad. I do like cheese. Lots of cheese. Yeah, a little more cheese. There we go. Cheese never goes to waste. And Usually when I have salads, I have Italian salad dressing, but when I have uh, this sort of dinner, I like the ranch. Mm, yeah, smells good. Here it comes. Lots of ranch on it, too. Tablet. Got my Coke. Enjoying these glasses I bought. No. like a lot of ranch dressing but it's really not that much because there's a lot of salad here. Mm. I am definitely going to enjoy that shower I'm going to be taking tonight when I get home. <laughs> After all that heat and everything. Uh, and of course, today, the day I'm going home, we get more seasonal temperatures. It's only 53 degrees outside right now. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we're making coffee. Yeah, I'm doing the pour-through coffee maker again, because I just want to get packed up and get out of here. Neighbors are already starting to turn generators on, so... Time to get going. It's not even 8 o'clock. People firing generators up already. Last night, we had a group come in... Uh, uh, about, I don't know, 6 o'clock or so. Maybe, no, maybe later than that, actually. It's maybe around 7. They come in pulling this big uh, trailer, camper trailer. Pull it into this site. Uh, making a lot of noise in the process. And then, as soon as they get the thing parked and everything, the first thing they do is fire up a big, noisy generator. And that was on until, oh boy, after 11. I don't know. To me, that's not camping, because they just stay inside the uh, trailer there. And why, why bother going to a campground? Just go to a motel if you're going to do that. I, I just don't understand it. 
I, I do the stuff to get outside. Never run a generator. Yes, I do use a fair amount of power. I do run my laptop and I have to work and things like that. But I'm outside, I'm hiking, I'm doing things. <laughs> Even well into the evening, there I got the fire pit and everything else. I'm not out there, uh, I'm not here just coming in, setting up uh, a generator and hiding indoors and probably watching TV and <laughs> God only knows what else inside there. Anyway, all right. Yep, using the going home coffee cup again. Not that you can see it here, but <laughs> you see the top of the cup where the camera's positioned. But but uh, I'm using this again, and uh, I said we're gonna get coffee together. We're gonna get uh, get dressed, get out of the van, and we'll start packing things up. A pretty significant change in the weather, that's for sure. You see, I knocked down a lot of the tables and stuff last night. Try to make packing up this morning a little bit easier. So, anyway, time to get ready to take off. Alright, so I got most of everything packed up, the canopy's back in the back of the van, all the tables, everything else all packed up here. I got most of the van cleaned up here, ready to travel here, so now it's time for a simple breakfast. Yes, I'm eating inside the van because the uh, outside is, uh, <laughs> there seems to be some black flies in Connecticut, so. Simple breakfast today, just a bowl of cereal. Cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, some milk. It's up to 58 degrees. Such a change. Oh, that's, all, that's all we're doing. Bowl of cereal and, uh, and coffee. That'll get me on the road. Spoon. There we go. That's it. That. Let me. Kids have Paws coffee cup. My last vitamins to take two. And we're all set here. So, check back in you shortly. Hmm. Alright, doing our last look around, make sure we didn't forget anything. There's the fire pit. Looks a lot better than when I first arrived when it was full of leaves. So, I'm not sure if anybody's actually even stayed in the site yet this season. A lot of little bugs coming out. I wonder if these are black flies or not, because they haven't been biting me, they're just annoying me. There's Jack, all set. I got the weather station down. Everything else is uh, off the roof. Back is all cleared out. Not gonna miss these little bugs. <laughs> not sure what's with these black lines showing up around my furnace. There. I gotta clean that up when I get home. Of course, Jack needs a bath anyway. 
So we're all set to take off, I guess. So this was, a, it was an interesting adventure. Uh, this early, mid, mid-April camping would have been a lot nicer if we actually had mid-April weather like we have today. If it was like today, this trip would have been awesome, the whole trip. <laughs> but, oh well. Anyway, I, I do know at this campground, uh, if I come, when I come back again, I, I'll be back. There's places to explore here. But I'm going to make sure I don't stay on a Friday night. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday night are all okay, but Friday night gets, starts getting a little busy. Anyway, uh, bugs in my microphone. Anyway, all right, time to go.